the board meeting will come to order. Good afternoon, and thank you for attending the April 11th, 2024 Albuquerque Civilian Police Oversight Advisory Board meeting. Our next item on the agenda will be uh, letter C, the city attorney, Ms. Lindsay Rosenbro, managing attorney for the city of Albuquerque. Mr. Chair, board, Lindsay Rosebro, uh, managing city attorney for APD out of the city attorney's office. Um, the city attorney's office covers a wide variety, obviously. I'm going to keep my updates specific to APD, but if there's anything in particular that you want to know about, feel free to ask and I can update it another time. <clears throat> I have three uh, topics I'm going to update you on today. The first is CASA, the Court Approved Settlement Agreement. And I'm just going to start with a bit of a background for the board, um, just a brief uh, background on the, uh, the initial history of this. The Court Approved Settlement Agreement has gone through a number of rounds and right now we're on the third amended and restated version um, that had 272 rated paragraphs um, so that's a large number of paragraphs we've uh, uh, have pared that down since then in a number of ways um, as uh, paragraphs come into compliance uh, they move into self-assessment and so most recently uh, we filed the fourth self-assessment plan um, and that was filed on March 8th, and that moved th 33 paragraphs into self-assessment at that time. Um, and so um, that was the most recent one. And then in uh, December, there was also a partial termination that was filed with the court. Uh, 59 paragraphs were terminated from the CASA, and that was after those paragraphs had been in self-assessment for over two years, two years or more. Um, and that was the, the basis for that. <coughs> so when something like that happens, that means it's been agreed to by the city and the Department of Justice. Um, and then the court approves it. So um, the last monitoring report was filed in November. That was IMR Independent Monitoring Report 18. That was filed in um, November of last year. The city was at a 94% operational compliance rate. Um, there were approximately 15 or 16 paragraphs that were not in operational compliance. Um, three of those uh, specific to APD, uh, paragraph 73, related to uh, force investigations being supported by a preponderance of evidence, paragraph 78, which is specific to the force review board, and paragraph 201, which is specific to discipline. There were another 12 or 13 paragraphs uh, that were not in operational compliance that were more specific to CPOA and CPOA B. We do suspect that in the next report, those numbers will be up, uh, given that the board has been reconstituted. Um, IMR 19 is going to be filed in May. The date of that is expected to be May 13th. Uh, that's the deadline for that to be filed. Um, <clears throat> and then the hearing on that one is currently scheduled with the court for June. Um, and so that is the current expectation. Uh, those things may, are always subject to change, um, but uh, that is currently, um, so we do expect to hear soon where the city stands uh, in terms of continued uh, operational compliance. Any questions about the CASA for me at this time? No questions. No questions. Okay. Uh, two more uh, recent topics I wish to update the board about. The first is Chief Medina's crash. Um, as the board may well know, uh, the chief was in a crash uh, in February. Um, that did go to something called the Crash Review Board. Uh, the Crash Review Board made a determination that the crash was not preventable. Um, that is a, uh, there's, there's two possibilities out of the Crash Review Board based on policy that can be determined. Um, and there is also a uh, internal affairs investigation that's being conducted separately from that. Um, and then the case itself, per policy, gets forwarded to the DA's office for a criminal review, and that is being done by the, the AG's office. Um, uh, and then the third thing I wanted to update the board on is the investigation into officers in APD's DWI unit. Uh, as the board may well know, that is also ongoing right now. Um, there is a criminal investigation that is being conducted by the FBI. And then APD is conducting an internal affairs investigation, an administrative investigation uh, into some of those officers. That is ongoing, and we will update when we can on that. Thank you. No other further updates. Thank you. Thank you very much. Questions? 
What was what did you say about Chief Medina's accident? The crash review board's findings was not preventable. Not preventable. Okay. Or unpreventable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.